So today I'll be talking about a special built-in function into Racket, and the name of that function is called filter. So filter is a commonplace function that you would need to know, and it's a way of operating on lists. So just to recap, we can declare lists like this. So we can have define uh, nums like this, or we can define num uh, define num. Uh, uh, words like this. So list, and we can have it like that. So like dog, cat, or whatever. Uh, I think I'm gonna just um keep it with numbers for now. So let's try primes. Uh, odds. Okay. So we have two lists here, and I want to fix my list a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to filter out the numbers that I think are illegal. So let's call this even, actually. So I want these to be true. So clearly, I have a list called odds, which isn't quite odd, and I have a list called even, which isn't quite even. Now, we could make a recursive structure that goes through the list, rebuilds it, but we can't really reassign anything. So if I want to output it, I could uh, type in even and odd. And this will output the lists, but they're not actually true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called filter. And what filter does is um, you you uh, parameter pass a lambda expression a uh, function that will accept um, a parameter, and it will accept it if and only if um, the lambda expression returns true. So let's have a, a lambda x. And here we can do uh, equals zero remainder x2. Let's see if this is a valid syntax. Okay. So what I did here was I um, did filter lambda. So here we have our lambda expression. Inside the lambda expression, we have one parameter. Afterwards, we have the body of our function. Uh, when it's zero, and you might just have to use a very good zero. When the remainder, when x divided by two, so similar to modulo, is zero, then return true. And this function filter takes the list even, and only returns true, only keeps the, only keeps the element in the list, if this is true. So a linear time complexity. So let's implement something similar for odds. Filter lambda x not uh, we can just do one equal one equal one remainder x two odd. And once again, odds. We filter everything, and this will only contain odd numbers. A neat thing to notice is it actually preserves order, which I think it's important. So yeah, this is pretty nice if you want to filter out data, or filter something out from a list. It's a very useful concept in um, Racket and Scheme, and it's a very powerful function. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next uh, videos I will be covering a couple more, so this was filter. I will also be covering uh, map, followed by folder, and fold out. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching.